Carpenter X. Welcome back to Carpenter Examples. We're going to continue our ongoing SolidWorks exercise series. Let's get this done. Firstly, let's navigate to Extrude. Let's click our top plane. Let's go to Center Rectangle and make this 160 by 160. That's millimeters. Let's go to Features. Okay, let's select agree with that. We already select Extrude from the beginning. So we don't need to go to Features again. And 10 millimeters upwards. Now let's go to our front plane and let's create a sketch on our front plane. And now let's create a line from there to this point. Take this out, go back here, and you'll get the option automatically to create an arc. Try your best not to use any relations or uh, not much relations as possible as yet because that can mess up our sketch. Relations are good, but sometimes it can mess up the sketch. Let's define and that's wrong. Let's, this should be from here to here and that's 50 and from here to the center of our arc 134.4 and now let's zoom in let's select our arc and give that a radius of 40 and let's give this portion 20 millimeters from here to here it should be 79.3 and from here to here this should be 50 from here to here this should be 49 and from the top of this line to the top of our first x2 that should be 150 now our sketch is fully defined let's go on extruder so features extrude and let's go to mid plane and let's change it to 60 millimeters okay now let's go to this face create sketch and let's go to section view let's go to an isometric view and pull this up a little bit accept that and now go back to normal view and let's create a circle i'm not going to give it any relations as yet and let's give this a, a diameter of 60 millimeters and now i will select that point and origin and make that horizontal and now let's draw a line from this point to this point zoom in a little bit take it out okay and let's create a, another line from there to there so this is already tangent should already have a tangent relation here let's see nope yes it's tangent now and let us give this some dimension so from the center to this edge this should be 31 millimeters and from the center point to this line should be six millimeters and let us now go and mirror this let's mirror this 
we can mirror this select those two lines and if we go to mirror entities we can come here we can click mirror about come here and select front plane and now you see our line shows up here accept that and now we can come to entities and let's take out this portion this portion this portion this small piece and also repeat the process on this side and if it's not fully defined it's okay you can simply come here and select this line and select the center and accept the same six millimeters now our sketch is fully defined let us go ahead and extrude this so let us go to features extrude bar space and let's make this 30 Accept that, and you can now take off your section view. And here is our new extrude. Let us navigate to this face, create a sketch. Let's go back to our section view. Let's choose our top plane. Let's just rotate this a little bit to see. Where we at? Okay, so yeah, I'm good with that. Now let's go back to normal tool. Let's create a circle. Let's make this 44 in diameter. And let's give it a dimension from this point this point 27 millimeters and let's make it horizontal okay and I'm going to intentional intentionally make a mistake here just to demonstrate something so if we go to extrude and now we want to extrude this five millimeters upwards see it's it gives us this error unable to create this feature because it would result in a zero thickness geometry one option is to unselect merge results and it will work but this is not what we want because if you are going to machine this part, this is one separate entity. As you can see here, there's two bodies, one and two. You don't need that if you're going to machine this part. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to Boss X25, Edit Feature, select Back Merge, and it won't work. Okay, so let's close that. And let's come here. Let's go to sketch four, edit sketch. And what we can do, we can just make this a little bit more than 27, or just a little bit more than, a little bit less than 27. Either a little bit more, a little bit less. So I'm going to go with 26. Point nine 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 nine. Okay. Now SolidWorks will still recognize that as 27. So if we, ex we exit this now, and then we can now go back to our Boss Extrude and Edit Feature, and if we can unselect Merge, and as you can see, it works. So let's go here again, Edit Feature. Merge was unselect, so we select Merge. So everything now is one so as you can see here we have one 
solid body. So that's one way if we get that error, then fix it using such methods or method. Okay. And let's continue. Let's take up our section and let's continue our modeling. So we can select this face, create sketch, and can repeat the same process here. You can just cut this part anywhere across here. And go back to normal too. And let us select this sketch and click convert entities. And let's go to features, extrude, and the same five millimeters. As you can see, we have no problem, no errors. As we fix it by either decreasing just a bit or increasing just a bit because in SolidWorks two two points are cannot extrude. Now let us take this off and let's go to asymmetric and continue our modeling. So let's click on this face. And let's create a sketch. We can go to an isometric view. And let's create a circle at the center. Let's zoom in a bit. Let's touch here. And let's make this 30 in diameter. Okay. And let's go to features. Extrude cut. And we are going to do two directions so the first direction let's make this 25 downwards and our second direction let us change this from blind to up to surface and let's click the top of the surface and let's accept this and now you can see we have our cut here and here let's navigate to this face create a sketch and let us go to offset entities and let's select these edges this one this one this one let's click reverse and 10 millimeters is fine okay and let's draw a line from here. And let's bring this up to here. And let's give this a dimension from here to here. Let's make that 69.3 millimeters. And now we can just move this a little bit and let us trim trim out the portions that we don't need, this piece and this piece. Okay. And now let's go to features and go to exit cut. So let's make this 20 millimeters. Okay. And let's come here and then create another sketch let's go to our corner rectangle and let's get this point and stay anywhere there and let's define this rectangle the width is 30 millimeters and our height is 20 millimeters and from this edge 
to this edge that's 40 millimeters now this is fully defined let's go to features extrude cut and let's cut that inwardly 15 millimeters okay now let's mirror those last two cuts let's select them we add features and let's go to mirror and we need to mirror about a face or a plane so let's use this chop down option and let's go to our front plane if you rotate your part select okay we had mirror we now mirrored our feature on the opposite side now let's navigate to our whole whole wizard and let's select whole you can leave this uh, at ansi metric double holes is okay and select 12 millimeter diameter you can uncheck custom make sure you have up to shoulder and for your surface you can do do it on this surface really end condition is the bottom surface so let's delete this and our end condition is is here and let's go over to position and select this face and let's drop three of these on top of that face and let's use dimension and this is 40 millimeters and another one from this one to this one the same 40 millimeters and from the edge to here this is 40 millimeters as well okay let's accept that and that's okay so we have power holes here and now let us select our holes let's go to mirror and choose the front plane and mirror those holes on the opposite side okay isometric now let's create some fillets so let's go to fillet and let's change this to five millimeters and we are going to zoom in here and we're going to fillet this this edge edges and spin to the opposite side that's fine you can hit enter on your keyboard to repeat the fillet option but now we're going to change this to 10 millimeters and we're going to fillet the point here here this edge as well that one and also let's fill it there there inside of this upper portion 
the edge here as well and you can select this face as well as here 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 as well and this face and this portion to the back here asymmetric accept that and now we can inspect our part a bit and let us apply some materials to this let's go isometric well we'll just do a surface appearance so we'll do solid bodies and let's click here appearance and let's give this let's apply some plastic to it a plastic surface textured and maybe let's choose one of these black and let's make it slightly yellow or red okay and that's it for this tutorial i hope that you enjoy and learn something thank you for watching bye for now